What well, last was the crack? My name is OrgJ Runner and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. Right, so we're on this train and we have to figure out where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do, how to stay safe. Eh, easier said than done. I mean we're basically running around like headless chickens as it is. And as for Kenny, Kenny's in a very bad place. If you watch my previous video, you'd know that uh little duck died. He got he got bit, so we had to, you know, put him out to pasture as it were. Hey, Kenny. It'll be good to get to the water. Now yeah, we'll talk about her past, just to see if Kenny will open up to us. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Okay, anything else we can talk about, Kenny? Anything you want to get off your mind? Well, actually, one thing I will do, I will take this map. What happened if I get by here for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Oh, oh okay, okay. I'll just try him one last time. Hey. Yeah? Okay, I'll ask him if there's a map. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Okay, one last time. Third time's the term. You still want to get a vote? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Okay, I don't think he's in a talking mood and frankly I don't blame him. I mean, he didn't just lose Doc, he lost his wife as well. And I'm not sure what happened. Did his wife kill herself out of grief or what What happened? Like, was there a struggle with the gun? Maybe, maybe they had a bit of a disagreement. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just uh, flyballing well, ideas here. Freeballing, flyballing. I don't know what the appropriate term is. And what about you, Benny? Benny boy? Are you holding up? Hey. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. Do you have anything to confess to us? Was it you that sold us out? To be honest, I don't think it was. I think it was... Doug that sold us out to the uh, to the raiders because he seemed you know pretty how to say not standoffish but he seemed to be making up too many excuses for Ben here probably out of guilt more than likely aren't many of us left yeah you me and Kenny Clementine the homeless dude if he sticks around Well, I suppose we could say we're all homeless. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. See ya. Yeah. Okay, you get back to being mopey. Hey, Clem. Gotta get your hair cut. Although I really don't want to. They look clean enough. Eh, you could be right. Ooh, is this vodka? I hope we're not on this train much longer. Oh no, it's it's whiskey. Let me take that. It's a fifth of whiskey. Yeah, we can use that for something later, I suppose. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. 
what should we do? Well, we'll figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. Okay, we'll ask her what she thinks about Chuck. I mean, her opinion of him could have changed. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Yeah, haven't we all? What a crappy day. Crappiest. Yeah, three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near startled me. I'm glad I came with you. Oh, Clem, you're such a sweetheart. Just a sweetie, sweetie, sweetheart. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, yeah. Take a deep breath and hold it. When you're ready to shoot. And fire. Make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. I would say keep it steady. Close. Yeah, keep it steady. And maybe just a little bit higher. Okay, a little higher. Okay, too high. Aim to the right. A bit to the right. Aim lower. Aim lower. Perfect. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. He's aim. Aim left. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. And a little lower. A little bit lower. Okay. That was too far to the left. Aim more to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. There you go. Nice. Okay, third time star. Maybe we can get this on the first go. Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. See, Clem? You'll be killing walkers in no time. Just like your pa, even though Lee's not her dad, but he is a dad in our eyes. Besides, he now calls her my girl, so he's obviously taking up a fatherly role for her. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, we can give her here the chap. Hey, Clint. Hi. 
So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. All right, we'll just do. No, no, no. We, we'll we'll get to it. Chop them up. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Nope, nope. It's a good thing. Besides, it'll grow back. Unlike mine. <laughs> uh, I'm losing my hair. Do you know how to do this? Um. Uh, nope. No idea. We'll be honest. Nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. I would just say killing is bad no matter what, just to give her a bit of a moral compass. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Jesus, she looks completely different. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. And you look more grown up now. Small bit. I mean, it's amazing how, how much a haircut can change a person. But yeah, don't worry, Clem. It'll grow back over time. So let's go up to the front, talk to Kenny again, see I if he. Not on this train much longer. Like, like I was saying before, I did something dumb. Let's talk to Kenny again to see if he's lightened up a small bit. Although I doubt he has. Um. No, never mind. I'll uh, talk to you later, Kenny. Hey, friendo, so I give Clementine the old ship chop, just like you said. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Oh, sure, why not? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Yeah, I think Kenny could do with a drink. I mean, after all, he's had it pretty rough. He's, he's had it bad. Not only did he lose his, his son, he lost his wife in the same day. That's awful. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Go on, man. You deserve it. Yeah, that'd help. 
I mean, if there's any person who deserves to drink, it's definitely you. And we'll go to Benny as well, just to see if, if he wants to drink some. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Whoa! Thanks. Where the hell did you pop out from, Kenny? Okay, right, Ben Boy. Do you have anything else you want to get off your mind? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that just seems so mean. Hey, Ben. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Anywho, let's try talking to Kenny again. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I was supposed to grab that map while he was out with Chuck. Have another with Chuck. You'll keep an eye out up here? Sure. Okay, then. Yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. Anything else that I can fool around with here? No, not really. But I will go back outside. Okay, any more wise words, Chuck? There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. <sighs> I'll tell him I shot the kid. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. And I think I asked him these questions before, so I don't uh, see the point of repeating them. He's safe up here. You betcha. So back to Clementine to go. Hey, Kenny. You keep being the best damn conductor you can be. It was me. What? Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? I... I knew it. It's all my fault. Why would you do it? Why would what you do for? it? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Uh, I suppose, yeah, to some point in holding it against you now. Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. Oh, I wouldn't. I guess not. Yeah, you best keep that yourself, because you're basically the linchpin of what happened at the camp. You were the detonator. You were the explosive that blew all that shit up. Oh, seriously, keep it to yourself, man. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Yeah. Okay, anything else to add? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you deserve that one now. You definitely deserved it. Jesus. I was convinced it was Doug. I was convinced. Oh, God. Now I feel bad. Anywho. 
Let's go over the game plan with little Clem here. Hey, Clem. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Now we should look for her parents, just in case. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, stay positive. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... Tell your parents what? Tell them what? Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Uh-oh. Put that look in your face, Kenny. Now, let me guess. Something's blocking. Yeah, something's blocking us. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. The thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Oh, look. Two new people. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Jeez, Kenny, no need to be so standoffish. I mean, they look like good people. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista, what's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. And, yeah, we could definitely use some good people like you, because you seem like good folk. Look, you want to help us out? I know I said that We could really. use some able bodies, and, yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? 
Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I'll just sit, tell her about being with her since all the started. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Well, we just tell him about Kenny. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Ah, nice. But first, I just want to see what's in here. Money? More jailbirds? Drugs? No, but there is some tape. That could be useful. That's about the only useful thing in here. And what about this Jenny? It's empty. But they, we have plenty of fuel right here. Oh uh, yeah, best investigate this first. I mean, if we drop it, that's still going to be in the way. Even... Even if it does explode, it's still going to be the way. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Yeah, that's for sure. Any best rendezvous with the others? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Y'all want some candy? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Oh, Chuck, you're Seems such a funny character. Enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Wait, is that you playing music or is that just backdrop music? Because I can't really tell. Anywho, best check out this old station house back here. If I can, but I don't think I can. Can I? No, I think Omid's doing that. What about you, Chuck? What do you think of all this? Oh, he can't talk to you. Never mind. So, Omid, what's shaking your bacon? What's up? Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. Yeah, we'll see. good idea. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is going to be pissed. Ooh. Never leave the, the cat at home. That's bad. That's terrible. I used to have a cat. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. Talk to you later. Okay, and Kenny, what about you? Teaching him anything? Trying to. 
Okay, good chat. And what about you two uh, ladies? You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. And yourself? Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. All right, where are you from? And where are you going? Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Okay, racist. <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Hey. Okay, and... Just ask her how do you think we'll get the tank down? Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask her me. He likes to break things. Oh, he does. That could be handy. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Oh, okay. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Alright, that's about does it for that piece of dialogue. So I guess we're going back to Omid again, are we? So Omid, what's your plan? Talk to you later. Never mind, he doesn't have one. Alright, the only one left to talk to is Chuck, really. Or not. Maybe Benji? There was a train house I could go into, but it... but I, I can't get past. Oh, here's the. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station. All right. Hustle over if you hear anything. All right. Could have done that a lot earlier. Okay, so far it seems quiet. Somebody was doing some painting. Oh, which is only a good thing. Now the question is, is it open? No, no it's not. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Yeah, stand back and let me do it. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Oh. I guess Clementine will have to do it then. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Yeah, maybe you could. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Uh. Right, Clementine, okay, any I dead can people? See in. What do I do now? Uh, what do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock. 
Which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Jeez, look at you. You're very dexterous. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, guess we're going inside, but first let's just take a quick look see around the back. See if there's anything aside from this forklift. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Eh, you could be surprised. Could work. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Wait, don't we need a flashlight? What's that thing on the right at, or left? I thought down with a flashlight. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, it's the wrench. Okay. Alright, Clem, here's the plan. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Okay, never mind. We don't have much of a plan going. Just wander around aimlessly and hope we find something useful. You're locked up good. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Okay, what else? They didn't have much business back then. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. Well, there's one key at least. The thing is how... Oh, I see how. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky and so little. Yeah, we are. Okay, Clem, do your thing. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Uh oh, what do you see, Clem? Behind you! Fuck. Oh shit! There's two of them. Obviously, that was the completely wrong move. Okay, I just have to back up, back up. Oh, this one, this guy first. Then, couldn't you at least shoot him? Close. Never mind. Save myself. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Come on, Clem. Do your thing. Now! One, take it. Fuck, it's still locked. Well, open it, you dummy. <sighs> God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. Yeah, that's the main thing. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We 
and found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, there's nothing strange about that. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. Jeez, woman, would you learn to have some faith in me? I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Yeah, throughout the entirety of this let's play, I just hope to stay on everybody's good side and, you know, make the right choices. So, come. You sure you're okay? How yeah, you doing? I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Hopefully it'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, we learned not to be we afraid. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? All right. Anything else? And where did you put that gas canister? You didn't put it up your ass, did you? God, I hope not. But, yeah, I just like giving them a bit of positive reinforcement. Now, what's on this poster here? There's gotta be something useful in here. You know what? I highly doubt it. Now, we got what we came here for. But yeah, the game does tend to drag if you don't know what you're doing. Like, at, at the start of the video, when it was pointed out that there was a little train house, I could not get to it. I, I thought it was at the other end. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Okay, and I'll follow. All right, Omid, so what's the jam plan? Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? And it could also blow up and kill us. But you know, that's a chance I'm willing to take. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. No man, I think your eyebrows getting blown off is the least of your worries. I'd be more concerned with my entire face and my entire body. Hope there's holes. Yeah, I knew I was right to keep that tape. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Okay, let's try it again one last time. Or could this end up killing us? We can't reach it now. Damn it, it's just about done, too. Crap. Don't suppose we could drive forward a small bit? So what now? Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up and start cutting. Uh-oh. Coming. What the 
What? Must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck. Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! We jump. We gotta jump. What? No way. What? Well, your funeral. Hi. Come on. Jump, jump. Come on. No. Jump, damn it. Still no. Fine. Come on, Omid. Oh god. Shit. Run. Run, grab him, grab him, grab him. No, her, not me. Rista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? I only saved him first because he was injured and I knew well he wouldn't be able to keep up. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Okay, I think we're approaching the end of this episode anyway. Hopefully. Because, to be honest, at this stage, I just really want to clear the game and get to the end of the story. I know I could do this in my own time, just get it out of the way, but still, I like having it as a let's play on my channel, because I like, you know, diversifying my content. Like I said, it's the first Telltale's game I've ever played, and it's really changed my perspective of them as a game developer and publisher. Next stop, the Atlantic. Find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. Mm. You'll be alright, Kenny. You'll be alright. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That was broke. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Oh, definitely. Besides, I can smell bullshit a mile away. Oh yeah, and here we are. The end of the episode. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. 
If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Alright, and I got another trophy as well. Lovely, I love collecting trophies just in case I didn't let you know that before. And again, let's just check the statistics here. Sweet merciful death, did you shoot the girl in the street? I did not. Left Liddy behind, did not hear. Right, standoff. You and 45 of, or you and 45% of players talked him down. Did you shoot Duck? Yeah, I shot him. Did you help Omid? Of course I did help Omid. Omid's awesome. <coughs> but yeah, that was Telltale's Walking Dead Episode 4. It's really growing on me as a game, but at points there can be a bit of a lull in the story. It can just be a bit of a fetch quest sometimes, and to be honest, I'm not really a fan of fetch quests. But I suppose for the sake of adding in content, it's it's not too... Sorry, I just got a notification on my PC. But yeah, the fetch quests are not, not too bad. I suppose it does add in an extra bit of fluff content for sake of adding in fluff content. But the story over, overall, it's, it's fairly decent. There's good character building in it. Every character is unique. They don't seem like copy and paste ideas straight out of the series. But I... Uh, yeah, very, very good, very enticing. It actually does make me want to go back and, you know, get other trophies that I may not have gotten before because it does have that layer of free playability. Like, the only game I could really compare this to now in terms of, you know, of it being a choices game is really um, Life is Strange. Although Life is Strange, the choices didn't really matter in that, although the choices in this game they do seem to matter because it does affect how people view you well how the NPCs view you and how it could affect the story later on in the game but uh, yeah overall I'm loving it I'm enjoying it hence why I'm playing it on my channel I wouldn't play a game on my channel if I didn't enjoy playing it yeah th that's all I've got to say really so guys you want to do if you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, come favorite share, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.